Okay, so it is officially spring bulb planting season. And no, contrary to popular belief, you don't just throw these suckers in and cross your fingers that they make their way to spring. There's a little bit of nuance to it. Whether you're in ground, growing in a container, growing in a raised bed, what your temperatures end up at, there's a little bit of science behind this. So today's video, we're going to look at planting bulbs, both ornamentals and edibles, and things you need to consider when it comes to physically planting these guys outdoors. So when you plant bulbs in fall, whether it's ornamentals or garlics, you are beginning to trigger root formation. Once the soil temp drops below 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit, the bulb itself actually is very much alive and is determining what its next move is. And that usually will include things like the storage of carbohydrates and starches. So why this is important is because there has been several studies done. One in 1993, while that is old, it still leads credence to the fact that when tulip bulbs in particular were planted and then allowed to grow a small root system prior to the soil completely freezing, there was not only better or more likely winter survival, but the blooms themselves were up to 40% bigger. And this makes sense because the plant is way less stressed out when we allow it to establish some of its roots here in the fall. So one way you can actually experiment with this is by planting some now, and then in two weeks time, planting some more bulbs of your choosing, and then watching them in the following year to determine if there is a big difference. If your soil in that space or that microclimate you have tends to decrease temperature slowly, then you may not see a big difference. But if it's in a raised bed or a container, or maybe it's in a space that's very open, the temperature fluctuations may be more rapid and that two weeks time could make a big difference. So when you go to choose when you go to plant more perennials, you have a better idea of when to plant. Now, I would encourage you not to look so much at the date in which you plant them this year, as much as I would look at the soil temp you plant them at. Just keep that in mind. So when we go to plant these bad boys in the soil, we wanna go three times the depth of the bulb itself. We don't want to just generically put them at three inches. We want to look at each individual bulb, determine how big it is, and then place it three times the depth of that individual bulb. All of them need to be treated differently. And then we want to put them into soil that's not necessarily bone dry, but that does have some, a little bit of fall moisture. And we can do this when our daytime temps are somewhere around five degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius. That's usually in and around when the soil temp's going to be at the right temp. And when your winter time is about to hit, but not quite, so your roots can establish and that sort of thing. Next question I always get is, can you plant your perennial bulbs or roots inside of containers? And the answer to that is yes, you can. Here's the nuance to that entire thing. That is going to freeze a heck of a lot faster. That is going to get a heck of a lot cooler. This means if we want to follow the rule of being able to develop some roots prior to the bulb freezing, then we would want to plant them sooner, usually about two weeks sooner than what we would plant our in-ground stuff at. So we may be looking at planting right when it gets to about the 10 degrees Celsius during your daytime temps. We also wanna make sure there's moisture present and we wanna place them in a space that they can get warm daylight sun until it officially freezes. And then once it has frozen, we want to place it up against a house, up against a shed, we want to congregate as many containers together as possible. We want to put leaves around it whenever possible. And we want to just keep piling snow on top of those containers in the winter months. If you are cooler, if you are zone three or cooler, this is really important. You are going to have a little bit of a battle on your hands. Yes, you can do this. Your likelihood of it surviving is much lower. So the best way to ensure it survives is actually by digging a hole. So what you wanna do is dig a hole the size of your container, put the plant inside of that, and then pile snow and mulch on top of that. If you don't have access to the in-ground, then what you wanna do is you want to dig a hole in a snowbank once it forms, force the pot into that snowbank, and then pile the snow over top of it because it is a natural insulator. Not 
as great as soil, but pretty darn good. So when it comes to things like garlic cloves or onion bulbs, the same rules apply as it does for the ornamental plants. Now, the really fun fact here is that raised beds, in particular for garlic, tend to do better. And the reason for that is because it is the roots are less exposed to waterlogged soils and garlic hate water, if you did not know. I have a whole video on how to grow bigger garlic and kind of the test or experiment I did. So you can check that out right here if you need to or if you would like to. But again, all the same rules apply for the most part that we're speaking about here. Okay, so here's another fun one, and that is inoculants. So you guys have heard me say this a million times when it comes to annual crops, kind of a waste of money. Turns out that Rhizophagus irregularis, which is like your main mycorrhizal fungi that you find in pretty much every product, when applied to perennials, and in particular a study done in 2022 looked at tulips, can help these plants develop more robust root systems. So the tulip example did use the Rhizophagus irregularis, mycorrhizal fungi, and it increased the root biomass by 32%. And that is huge. That is big. Doesn't sound big. That's pretty, quite a, quite a big difference. Just to put it in perspective, if you lost 32% of your root biomass, your plant will be in trouble. So the addition of more A++. The reason why we can apply, apply that here in the fall is because the soil is still active. Again, up until those cooler temperatures of around zero degrees Celsius or 28 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's not the outside being that temperature, that's the physical soil being that temperature, which happens even later than it does when the ambient air decreases. Now, if you're in between being a cold climate and a warm climate, just keep in mind the vernalization that you need, regardless of whether it's an ornamental plant or a garlic slash onion crop, is that you need somewhere around 14 to weeks of cool exposure. And that cool exposure doesn't necessarily have to be frozen. It just has to be under 9 degrees Celsius or 48 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is important because it's one of the only ways that the that the floral meristems are actually going to be activated. So if you do have containers and you're in a cooler climate, but you know those containers are going to be kept warmer, like in a garage or a basement, it doesn't get that 14 to 16 weeks of 4 degrees, 28 degrees Fahrenheit or lower, you will not get the hormones activated that you need activated because it has not received something called vernalization. So do with that information what you will. Unheated garages usually sit around 5 degrees or less Celsius, probably a pretty good place to put them. Basements, that's a different story. It may not be getting cool enough. Freezers, in my opinion, way too cold. Unfortunately, the fridges, not cold enough. So you have to let me know in the comments down below, Geek Crew, what you believe to be the best time to actually plant your bulbs, ornamental or not. If you've done it already or if you're planning to do it very soon or just not at all. And I need to know, what's your guys' current temperature and like climate looking like? Because mine is cold, but lower moisture than what we've had in the past but it's also kind of warm. I haven't decided yet what it is. I feel like it's just normal, not too hot, not too cold. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.